Yeah, so the, the North Carolina building code for moisture barriers is simple. It's a six mil moisture barrier and where they overlap each other, it has to overlap by 12 inches. Um, that is it. That is the minimum. Uh, and, and we refer to it as the North Carolina minimum building code. Uh, and I believe their code books do as well. Uh, we talk about it often is not the best practice. It's not something that we're going to warranty or stand behind. Most professional companies will not warranty it, will not stand behind it. Uh, it is literally just bottom of the barrel. If you don't do anything else, you have to do this. Um, it's not best practice. It's not something you're going to get somebody to stand behind. And if they do tell you they're going to stand behind it, they likely won't be in business in a few years. If they're out telling people that, they're probably just a fly by night. A uh, handyman that's just trying to make as much money as he can in this area and he's leaving or he's going to be out of business or something like that. So there's a lot, a uh, lot better options out there. Of course, you know, better options cost more money. That's that's with anything in life. Um, but you know, it just depends on how much protection that homeowner wants and what kind of guarantee they would like um, protecting their, you know, one of their biggest investments.